previous video I linked data from Node-RED on an Edge device to InfluxDB in the cloud. And I just want to complete this series of videos by showing you how you can link data from InfluxDB in the cloud to Grafana in the cloud. So all I've done to start my Grafana account off is I've typed in Grafana into my search engine. Um, I've clicked on sign in and it gives you the options again to sign in with various accounts and I've used my, my Google account. Once I've done that I get my Grafana account. So the first thing I need to do is set up a connection. So click on the integrations and connections, select InfluxDB, create the uh, connection, I can give it a name, I'm going to call this Node Red. And now I need to start putting in my, my information. So the first bit of information I need is my URL for InfluxDB. So that is here. We've we covered this on a previous video. So if I copy that, I need to make sure that I'm set to here, by the way, to Flux. So this is the latest version because that's the version on the cloud. Basic authentication. Now, because I've logged into Influx DB with my Google account, that's the basic authentication I need to be putting here. You can probably override this, but I'm just using everything set as a default. And then we come down to the bottom. If we go back to our previous video, the organization, I have a look here. Organization, this is my organization. So it's the same. I've used my Gmail account to, to log in. The token is going to be the API token and then the default bucket is the one I've set up. So if I go into um, InfluxDB Cloud and go to Data Explorer, I can see my bucket there is called Node Red. So I'll type that in. And then I need the, the token uh, for the final bit to set this up. We go back to InfluxDB. Load data API tokens. I've done it before. I'm just going to delete this so I can go through and show you how to do it. So create all access. Again, we'll call this um, Grafana. And then we need to cut and paste this uh, API key. Now, once we've got the API key, we come back to here, paste it into it. Grafana settings and then we can save and test. Data source updated, a free data source working, free buckets found. Well, that makes sense. There's me. If I go back to my data explorer, I've got three buckets, node red and the two default ones that come with uh, um, InfluxDB. So now I just want to add my data to a dashboard. So if I go dashboard, have a new dashboard and then we'll have a new panel. So on the panel I need to um, start adding my information so data source we have our node red influx DB and then we have our query again so this is where it gets confusing because we need to put our flux query in so we go back to um, influx DB we're going to do lights Okay, and then we'll select both of the lights. So that is our query. If we submit that, we have a query here. And then we can go to script editor. And we can see here that's the information I need. So if I select that, control C, go back to Grafana, to my script editor, control V, I'll give it a name. I'll call that office lights. Um, we'll save that giving it a name so we'll save that and we can see now there is my data arriving so Grafana will do that to automatically update every five seconds let's do the last 15 minutes and we can see the data so I will try and stretch over and put my lights on so I can see now I've, I've turned my, my, my lights on there. So if I put 
put my hand over my sensor I can see now that the data is coming into Grafana. So I'll repeat the procedure just to make sure you've got it. So we're going to add another dashboard, create a panel, go to my influx uh, instance that I've created. This one is Office Vibration and then go back Go back to Query Builder, Office Vibration, so select the three axes. I've got a triaxial vibration, script editor, copy that now, control C here, paste it into there, paste it in, and I will spell vibration correctly. And I can see my, my axis now on my vibration, so I can save that. I now have two panels on my dashboard uh, and they should be both auto updating so let's give this vibration sensor a bit of a tap hopefully after five seconds I see that data coming through so there we have it and the nice thing about Grafana I do think this is fantastic with time series data is how we can start to, to zoom in and it will zoom both trends in. Uh, I can then go back and do last five minutes and it will do both trends. So there you have it. Um, everything is now in the cloud from a low cost edge device sat in my office with two I squared C sensors uh, measuring light and vibration. Everything's going to the cloud nice and easy. The only thing that I would say is this Grafana um, license that I've got expires on the 3rd of April. I don't know what type of functionality I get after that. Um, so maybe I'll do a repost and tell you what I get limited to after the 3rd of April. But for now, don't forget to click on the notification button because there's more videos like this coming out. And um, I hope to see you all again soon. And thanks for listening.